person. Vicar Rack is trying to do the wave. This is Mangler. Hmm. There you have it. The one that maybe what good is that? since I picked it, do I get the Celtics tickets? Well, because you picked it, Bob, you get to go with Mrs. McLaughlin. There you have it. <laughs> I, I finally, I, don't know what you, who you see. I finally won something. Yes, I, I finally won something. That's a, that'll be. Now, does that include a romantic dinner for two? Oh, that's up to you and her, Bob. Here well, we go. Oh, no time right. to waste. Congratulations to the Mrs. Mangler. All right. So, Bob, you have a history of injuring people. Now, before uh, I go into this, of course. Well, whatever. Here we go, Elvino. We practice this. Let me explain what a double underhook suplex is to begin. A double underhook suplex, make sure these are in order, is when you take somebody belly to belly, face me, and you hook them under their arms like this, and then I would lift up and rip, oh, and fall on top of them. Now, Bob and I had a snowball fight a few years ago. This is just a warm-up picture. It's not really part of the story. Focus. There we go. That's Bob and uh, one of his college friends, Eileen, who started a snowball fight and lost. Okay? Here's me giving her friend a double underhook suplex into a snowbank. I think that's Eileen again. That's Eileen again. Same girl. Yeah, all Eileen. Right. That's her about a second later going down. She then went down, and when she got up, I hit her with a flying clothesline. And Bob dropped an elbow on her. <laughs> so that, that's Eileen, if you can make her out right about there. That's Eileen there. And th this was about 10 years ago, Jim. And believe it or not, I still have those boots. Yep. Oh, I know. <laughs> and then at the end of the fight, we won. And there she is in the background. Right. So trying to get up. Right. So that move, though, that double underhook suplex, Bob was uh, wrestling with his girlfriend in college at the time, fooling around, just, you know, throwing each other around. And he gave her a double underhook suplex. And in the process of turning to throw her onto the bed, the back of her head, right off the edge of the radiator. Hospital, wheelchair, concussion. I'll turn on your TV. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that was hospital, wheelchair, concussion. Needless to say, Jim, I won, I won that fight. You won that fight too, um, okay. I mean, purely, purely accidental. <laughs> you, you, you saw that move. Um, Up in the air and then just letting gravity do its thing with right. his weight on top of her. Back of the head off the radiator. Um, you injured me, so Bob. You injured me in a hockey game, a friendly pickup game. Accidental, of course. Well, that's what they say. Uh, with a slash to my ankle that, according to the doctor, actually chipped a piece of the bone of my ankle off. And I had a piece of ankle bone floating around my foot. Interesting. Thanks to you. Now, that, that didn't require a surgical procedure to fix that, uh, No, it? required a lot of pain to get through. Interesting. And then our friend Brian, Bob. Uh, Brian you Messier. and he walking through the streets of Boston one night and uh, sort of, you know, shoving each other around like mm. this. And somehow he wound up uh, with a broken foot or something. Well, that was, <laughs> that was I. What, what what happened there? I did I, I I think I scared him. He jumped off the curb yes. to hit you. Ah. And when something happened. Oh, okay. He jumped off the curb to hit me, and somehow he landed and broke his foot. And I, I did absolutely. I was just standing there. <laughs> he 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 cla he <laughs> he claims but, he's innocent on this one. But I guess since I was in the vicinity of this accident, I'm somehow accused. Well, with your history, Bob, it looks kind of fishy. It looks fishy, I'll admit that. Now, we're building up to something, Bob's <laughs> gift. Which, which, by the way, this is a big build-up for a small payoff, but it's, it's nevertheless it's all it's coincidental. Fun. Go ahead. Then I was just thinking at the Fleet Center a couple years ago, was it you who was sitting next to me when that incident happened with my head on the railing? Absolutely. Yes. So <laughs> we're at wrestling at, at luxury box seats, Nesson box seats. We're at wrestling, and there's a metal rail that goes across, and over it is the arena. So we're front row at the, sort of like a balcony, but higher up. And the lights went down, the live cameras go up, the spotlight goes on, the music starts, fireworks go. So Bob gets excited and starts doing this to me. <laughs> right. Like a wrestler. Just, just joking around. Next thing I know, my head hits the railing. I lift it up. My shirt's covered in blood, my sneakers. I was taken out in an ambulance. This is, not, this is a true story. I got a sky it's on true. my forehead. It's true. But I was taken out in an ambulance, ditches right there. And I made sure you got medical attention, Jim. And afterwards, as you were being whisked away to the hospital... I went back and watched the wrestling event. Right, so he could fill me in on the card. Right. right. I mean, I wanted to do you that favor at right. least. Not ride with me, but stay there and watch. Right. And the funny thing about that is before we went to the wrestling show, we saw the ambulance going into the fleet center, and I said, I always wonder if that's actually part of the show, because I always like to take a wrestler out in an ambulance like he really got hurt, or is that for a real person in case of an accident? Half an hour later, I was in it. It's probably for both. Right. So that's four, and I'm sure there are more. Well, Here's I broke, I... Um, I broke uh, Richard the goalie's toe. 
Yes, Remember that's that? right. You broke Richard's toe. I broke his Here's toe. Another one. On a, right. We were playing hockey. We were clear, purely accidental. We were pure, playing <laughs> hockey. I took a slap shot. <laughs> Richard made the save <laughs> off his big toe, but it broke his toe. So now so. he wears duct tape around his sneakers when he plays goalie to right. protect his toe. So there you go. There's five. Okay. Here's your gift. I also, um, this one time, it was a few years ago, <laughs> our friend Mike Alker, we, it was another hockey game. I, I heard I, about this one. I, 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 I forgot what happened, but. And he didn't tell me I injured him until years later. He came up to me and says, Bob, I, you know, by the time we, we were playing, blah, 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 and you checked me, and I was like, yeah, I got a dislocated shoulder that's from right. <laughs> And uh, That's enough. Un unbeknownst to me, he didn't, he told me years after the fact, so it's. it's Merry all, Christmas. Thank you. So I, this has to do with all the stuff we were just talking about. It's just about. a small okay. token, Bob. It's not, I mean, it's a lot of, it's a, it's a six minute story just to get to a simple gift, but I had to explain it to the folks at home. That's all it is, so. Well, some of the Lady Hollanders were over here before the game trying to figure out what this was. And we right. had shirts. A couple were shirts. I think um, the lead guess was a puzzle. I think my pu my guess was a puzzle. Right. Uh, so we'll see what it is. I saw it. I immediately thought of you. And I just had to tell those stories to explain why. It's not, not controversial, is it? Nope. It is a shirt. So the Lady Hollanders were right. Read that, Bob. It's only funny until someone gets hurt. Then it's hilarious. <laughs> there you go. So, <laughs> there you have it, Alvino. <laughs> I should have been wearing this shirt every time I injure someone. I think right. that's the idea from now on. From now on. So if I see you wearing that, I'll head for the hills. So I appreciate <laughs> that. Well, you girls want to take a look at that? Make sure it's all right. 